All right, talk about the presidential race. It's really ramping up right now. The Iowa caucuses are just two weeks away on January 15th, and yet another poll is showing good news for former President Donald Trump in a possible matchup with President Joe Biden. Here's Rihanna Nally. This morning, a new poll shows President Biden losing ground to former President Trump among Latinos and younger voters. The USA Today Suffolk University survey shows Trump with a 39% support among the Latino demographic, compared to Biden's 34%. Back in 2020, Biden got 65% support from Latino voters. Concerns about the economy and the border have weighed on voters. The poll also finds Trump now leading Biden among voters under age 35. Many concerned about climate change and the Middle East. Are you ready to work hard over these next two weeks so that we win the Iowa caucus? Meanwhile, the Republican primary candidates are making their final push, with the Iowa caucuses now less than two weeks away. Trump is leading in Iowa by more than 30 points. Less than three points separate Florida Governor Ron DeSantis and Nikki Haley. Donald Trump is running on his issues. Nikki Haley is running on her donors' issues. I'm the only one running on your issues. DeSantis attacking Haley after her recent rise in the polls, gaining ground on Trump in New Hampshire. That state's Republican governor, who endorsed Haley, is now calling on Chris Christie to drop out to give Haley a better chance against Trump. Chris Christie's a friend, but his race is at an absolute dead end. This is a two-person race, right? It's between Trump and Nikki Haley. But the former New Jersey governor is not backing down, recently launching a seven-figure ad campaign. Some people say I should drop out of this race. Really? I'm the only one saying Donald Trump is a liar. New Hampshire, it's up to you. The results from the Iowa caucuses will not be known until early March on Super Tuesday. Rhiannon Alley, ABC News, New York.